obviously, look, there was a lot of talk about the broadcast last night because it got super awkward before the game. Oh, with Shaq. With Shaq doing the. Yeah, that's not the time. I don't want yeah. you to win the NBA. That's not the time <laughs> so to do that. That's not the time to do that, bro. Because even Yokes had to, like, laugh it off. Like, He's you, lucky that it was Jokic who like is that spirited. That is so that's inappropriate. Not the, there's a whole lot of people, and the other thing is he he wasn't able to concoct a, a good argument yeah. as to why. He can if say you want to say no, if you want to say Gilgis Alexander should be the MVP, what I'm saying is Shaq wildly was not prepared to give a persuasive reason mm-hmm. as to why. Yeah, he should be. Why he is the most valuable. But I don't even, expect, if he, even if he had an argument, yeah, even if he that is, what I'm saying is it's not an unreasonable position. Yeah. Oh, it's not, because he's my, he's my no, MVP. You're presenting not. it to Jokic, though. While you're For presenting sure. it, like keep it until he's gone, and then you guys can have an argument. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys yeah. feel this way. Let him have his moment, bro. Sometimes guys feel this way, and I can relate to this because I'm not, I'm not, I would not do it the same way I did many things when I was a young broadcaster. That being said, I think what goes through these guys' heads, because this has happened to me, where I have been critical of someone and then I just broach it right off the bat because there is this acknowledgement that the audience knows what you've been saying and now, oh, keep that same now you're energy. Being, now, now you're, you're being talking nice. yeah, yeah. Okay, and, I feel Oh, it. yeah. You spent the whole time when he wasn't on the air talking about how you didn't think he should be the MVP. And then as soon as he's right in your face, you do, you, you clammed up, right? Yeah, I get I f- that. I feel you on that. That yeah. is what happens. Yeah, but there's like a right? piece of respect, too. Of, of course there is. Yeah. Of course there is, right? But it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Mm-hmm. Shaq shouldn't care if anybody is going to call him out for having, because that's not the way to do it. No. And especially yeah. when the guy is coming on because he has just had this. Uh, the thing I, 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 I believe is true is Shaq is for real like a hater about this because he passed him in MVPs. That's mm-hmm. why. It's not. It's not your normal circumstance. It gives him no. more. When you pass him in MVPs. Oh, we know Shaq's known to be a hater, And you too. pass him on the center list. Yeah, he's right? not going to be If we're lining it up, yeah. now Jokic has three MVPs and Shaq has two. Yeah. That's how that works. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, he has one. Yeah, Shaq's got one. He has one. I'm sorry. Yeah, and we know Shaq to be a, he, he's a known hater. Like, he's known to there be There is no way Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal thinks he yeah. should have... One MVP, <laughs> and even as good as he thinks this guy is, he should have three. Exactly. That's not right. Yeah. I get it. I get that. Even if he would have said it different, I think it would have gone over better. You know? Because I feel like he said it. He's presenting the MVP I know. award. Yeah. There's you, no, he's like, there's you know, no I, think SG, I think SGA deserved it, but, you know, congratulations on your third like, MVP. Because there is a thing when you look <laughs> at it, when you do look no, at it this way. It's, 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 it's very rude. <laughs> it's so rude. It's like, hey, no, hey you won so an rude. Emmy Award. It's like Taylor Swift. That's right. It's like the Kanye Taylor Swift thing. Like, I'm glad you won your award, but you kind of, like, didn't deserve it. Like, right. okay. Yeah. Thanks. The, it I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. It is wild when you put it this way that, Nikola Jokic has more MVPs combined than Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. That's what he has a problem. With. Yeah, he That's don't what like he that. Does. He, he doesn't really think Shea Gilders Alexander should win it because even when he concocted his argument, it felt like he made the argument for Jokic. Here's the other thing, <laughs> right? Because he was saying it should be the baddest dude in the league. Yeah. Not necessarily the best player on the best team because Jaron tried to make the best player best team argument, which, which would have gone towards Shea because Shea, was, which is exactly. Yeah. The persuasive argument, you say, look, we have a history in this league. We have done it different a couple of times when Westbrook a- averaged a triple-double. But for years, the NBA MVP has been the best player on the best team so more often than not. You do, and that's what's fair. That's, why I, want, that's do, why I said SGA should If you MVP. do best player, best team, Jason Tatum's the MVP. The Celtics that's were the best team in the NBA all year. That's a fair point. That is a fair point. They were the best team by far yeah. in the I NBA. I just thought SGA was the best scorer and also like an elite defender. So that's why I thought he should have been. That, the that, other thing, you said Shaq argument. didn't make a There you go. There you go. He didn't Jeez. make for a pers- <laughs> persuasive <laughs> argument. He didn't either. Yeah. He, yeah. I don't know he said it's person. the best player in the league. The baddest dude in the league. Yeah. And I think you're the best player in the league. He literally told Jokic, I think you're the best player in the league, but I don't think you should have gotten the MVP. I so did just say because I only have one. The, only thing is, right. the, the other thing is, I don't watch that show for basketball arguments. I got you. 
Like I don't, I don't remember anything those guys ever say about basketball. Like, dude, they make me laugh. Oh no, man. when when Chuck, when Chuck get in the, what he said, what else, Chuck? What else, Chuck? When he get in that bag, yeah. when, you know, he was like, I like this, oh, I like street me, I like street me. He said, Hilarious. what else, Chuck? Yeah, that's 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 what we're there for. Yeah, but also they make you laugh. The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesar's Sportsbook, live weekdays at noon.